Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the guest list once again. Today, I am uh, hanging out with Spoonbenders. Um, why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves to tell me your name and uh, what you do in the band? Uh, I'm Leo Pastor, the lead guitarist, de facto lead guitarist, I should say. I'm Katie, and I play guitar and I sing. Perfect. Um, so, uh, where the where's the rest of the band? Um, they are, there's, they got lost along the way, um, somewhere roaming around Belltown somewhere. There Probably. are Wendy's. There are Wendy's? Yeah. Huh. I thought Velvet was vegetarian. Hmm. hmm. All right. Well, hopefully they get one of those, uh, delicious $5 salads. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, excellent. So, uh, for those uh, who aren't familiar with Spoonbenders, uh, can you maybe describe your sound? Like, what what does uh, Spoonbenders sound like? Funk. Yeah. Funk. Uh, Harlemin. Funk. P funk. P funk. Yeah. Just like really bopping. Yes, bumping. Bumping. Or, or uh, what do the cool kids say? Uh, bussin. Yes. They say bussin. That is a word. Not mid. Not um, mid. No cap. No cap. Goat, yeah. Goat. Goated. Okay, you're goat. <laughs> um, great. Uh, so, uh, do you have a makeup person? I. We Are have you? just real people. We don't make them up. Their unique contributions may be misunderstood by future generations. And then we can have your other two members also do a makeup session for uh, being absent. Well, you, they're, they're at Wendy's, yeah. but they're real also. They're very real. Um, if you run into them, could you ask them for a, a double bacon cheeseburger, if that's okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any uh, touring pet peeves that happen? Like, you know, you're in the you're in the van for like long hours, and you know, certain things might get to you. Is there any anything like that that you'd like to address? I would like to address the ham boning. Oh. Oh wow! You're calling out my hand boning. It's the whole time. The whole time. It's the whole drive. I I don't know what a hand bone is. It's a classic like music tradition. Uh, usually found uh, more in the east uh, side of the U.S. like the Ozarks. But uh, basically, um, you, you might have come across this if you know you're a drummer, but you, you know your drum kit's too loud and stuff, and you're like, well, how do I practice my technique and stuff? So naturally, well, I got hands and I got um, a surface on my own body, my legs, to, uh, you know, just start doing my rudiments, like, you know, like a, like a paradiddle. I think I get it. Yeah. yeah it, that was not a paradiddle, but, you know. I, I fully understand why this is irritating, yeah. Great. Stop it. Now. I, you know, it's a... Uh, oh, my God. It's it's uh, it's a bit of an addiction, uh, uh, but so you, know, it's you guys very are fun. from Portland, right? Uh, the band is, but not us originally. Okay, not cosmically. Um, is there a and Portland's pretty weird. Um, is there a, a, a minimum amount of weirdness that uh, is required for bands in Portland to perform? I think that to live in Portland long enough, you have to be at least annoying at least well, a little a little annoying yeah certainly looks like you have that covered yeah great um Very. <laughs> all right well all right let's um let's take a moment now maybe um we, uh if if you would maybe close your eyes for a moment just and think about, think about your favorite, favorite pose or vogue just visualize, visualize that now. Visualize that now. All right? Just take a moment. Now, now, now. As, you open, as you open your eyes, open I would like you to like you to now make that now pose. Make that. Uh, do you do you have any other creative talents other than playing music? Like um, I have heard you 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 tattoo, right? I do. Right. How about you? Well, besides the ham boning, you know, just lollygagging. That's a, I feel like it's a creative talent. Definitely a marketable skill. A marketable skill. I think people are really catching on to it, uh, you know, these days. Um, hmm. Okay. So it's showing its use, I'd say. Wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're, 
making a profit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, if you could uh, raise a band from the dead, uh, which, which band would you choose? Uh, the Grateful Dead. Mm. They're very grateful. Yes, raising the Grateful um, Dead. Should I just say Dead Boys? Mm. Let's say or the dead zombies. Boys. Or the zombies. The Dead Boys. Wow, how on brand. Uh, uh, I appreciate those answers. Um, so uh, when you tour around, there's a, a, a type of person that may or may not um, be into you guys uh, that are uh, what are known as punishers. Um, can you describe a moment where you had to deal with a punisher? You seem to have a yeah, more clear so. definition of a punisher for those who don't know what a punisher is. So I guess just sitting in front of you very close and explaining the 60s for a really long time and then having you take photos um, with your husband while his arm is around your waist. And you just stand there and they do like every single angle. And then they keep talking about the 60s and then they keep talking about their kids and how they won't play the car. But they wish they would. Um, and then just wrapping up now. Um, so you're both guitarists, correct? Yes. Um, uh, I would like to know how long should a, a guitar solo go on before it's considered masturbatory? Ooh. Ooh, I know how long should it go? Well, it depends on the ego of the person. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the outfit. It depends on the outfit. If, if not the Danny Dorka outfit, you know. Right. But I feel like there's some people out there that you know, their ego really shines through their guitar solo, and they go on for too long, and it it's just like maybe even like a minute of a guitar solo. How many times do you need to use the whammy bar? Exactly. How many times do you need to put the guitar behind your head like it, even 30 seconds of a guitar solo i see just yeah. yeah maybe maybe like less than a dozen dives within a single uh, solo po possibly i like dives well, the, you know, dives i like, I like dive bars too you Do know the dives like, as many times as you but okay. then sometimes you know you you know we can't we're not gonna call i don't no. know jerry garcia master Vittori guitarist because no. they're all soloing at once and that's Jerry gets a pass. He gets a pass. For you know, sure. He's, yeah. he's got a, you know, he's not egotistical. like Nobody. You know, nobody. Great. <laughs> um, is there any uh, last words for us before, uh, we wrap, uh, before we wrap up here today? Um, we love you, Boise. We the good potatoes. Love you. Really good potatoes. All right. Well, uh, thanks for being on the guest list, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.